Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to episode four, season two of Arcane, titled Paint the Town Blue, which, uh, if you don't know, is the Ash Nico song that was made for this season of Arcane. I mean, what an incredible episode three. I don't want to talk too long before we get into this reaction, but basically, I mean, we got the disconnect from, you know, Vi and Caitlyn. Caitlyn going on this really authoritative, like honed in on just capturing Jinx. She doesn't care about hurting Vi's feelings or anything. We're definitely looking to catch back up with Jinx and see what's going on with Jinx and Savika. And then of course, like the Caitlyn thing, the Vi thing. And then of course, like Ambessa and Mel with the Black Rose is very intriguing as well. What happened to Jace, Echo and Heimerdinger? What's going on with Victor down in Zaun now? And then let's see if we get any like little more Easter eggs from this next batch of episodes. Uh, from anything from like League of Legends or anything like that or any other champs or anything. All right, guys, I don't want to talk anymore. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and here we go, guys. Paint the Town Blue, episode four. Nope, oh, starting off with the song. Yep, another music video to start off the episode. Oh, whoa, look what's happening here. Are we getting like camps and like protesting? Yeah, we're getting like rioting in the streets. I love the black and white, like charcoal kind of art style this season. They still haven't found Jinx, and look at Caitlyn's losing it, dude. She looks scary. Up again? The city's not going anywhere. I have an audience with the Masons Guild first thing in the morning. <gasps> Let me guess. Oh! No! Again. I hate it. Keep, keep us safe. I hate it. I hate it so much. Listen, I liked Maddie, Never but now I don't know if I like Maddie. Not without Jinx. All right, we got to take Maddie out. Guys, Maddie's Besides, gotten up. A withdrawal could lead to a worse situation than uh, one that... Okay, Ambassador. Oh, it's it's gross. <laughs> not, not because it's... It's gross because it's Maddie. Oh my God, it's, I can't, I can't, I don't even want to look. Come to bed soon. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. You're in the wrong place. What's going on here? Put your hooks and paws together for the meanest, ugliest, glorious spectacle of your life. Jinx running an arena? Is it a void? Being? Oh. A scuttlebutt. Okay. We're just running fight arenas, animal fight arenas. I feel bad for the little guys. Oh, they really are little. <laughs> okay. wonder why Isha doesn't talk. I think what's going to happen is Isha is going to talk, but later on in the season. Uh, like an important part. I didn't get to do much of this with my older sis. She Ooh. was more into hitting things. I had a different name back then, you know. Okay. Powder. I feel like oh, they got a secret handshake. I feel like we're seeing Jinx a little differently here. A little less crazy, which this is kind of crazy to say. Oh no, he dead. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he. Oh, give him goggles. What the? Go, go back up, man. Okay, that's what happened when Jason Victor figured it out. But it's unstable. Oh, he gone. Seize control of this backwater. Everyone with an inkling of talent vanishes. They fear Hextech. We were too slow. Mm. They have my daughter, Rictus. Mm -hmm. Our moment will come, but you must be prepared. Uh oh, we got some sneaky rebellion stuff going on here. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's that bat guy. She is not your champion. She hides. While you suffer, and yet you refuse to hand her uh -oh. over. Oh, nice fireworks. Uh 
Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh, it's Isha. It's hers. I'd recognize it anywhere. That's where the similarities end. No body count, no theatrics. Oh. You think it's a copycat? Was it really just Isha I doing it? I'm desperate for something to believe in. There's a trail. We have her scent. Hmm. I'd expected this development would encourage you. Yeah, what's going on? Was it for my encouragement that your man Rictus was instigating violence? Oh, uh-oh. You don't trust me. The blade cuts both ways. Ooh, the shot. The recommendation. Interesting. If it wasn't Jinx at the checkpoint, one of them knows where she is. Arrests require cause. What greater cause is there? Than returning peace to this city. Interesting combo between these Why two. Is peace always the justification for violence. Well, Caitlin, last episode you didn't seem very, I don't know, concerned with any of this. But you will never rest knowing that she's out there. Mm, and Bess is just stirring the pot, or man. Maybe I underestimated you. Yeah, she's just stirring maybe the pot you have right the now. Strength, I do not. Here we go again with Lust and Sallow. Are you just spilling wine on yourself? To be on my guest list. Same time next week. Tomorrow. Oh. Effects have been diminishing. That's what happens. I keep hearing about this healer. Oh, Victor. Fissures. Can't hurt to look, can it? Hmm. Sallow going to see Victor? That'd be interesting. Your stunt at the checkpoint. No idea what you're babbling about. Oh. That Isha you. did it. Isha's gonna cause problems. You're a symbol. You want a symbol? Jinx doesn't care. I literally made a joke of her about her not being able to give a middle finger. I told you I'm not interested. Do you know how much he sacrificed to protect you? He believed in your potential. Oh. Yo, we got a little bit of a glimpse of like the 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 crazy Jinx. Effects. I can bring to the table. Yeah, so people want Jinx to fight again don't for the cause, but out. she doesn't care. I don't know how you do it, kid. Because you know what? At the end of episode three, when those explosions were going off and she was saying, no, no, Savika, this isn't how it was supposed to go. Jinx was ready to die at the end of episode three, guys. Like, I think she was truly ready to die. And so now after that, she doesn't know what to do with herself, right? Mm, she's visiting Silco again. Me, a hero. How screwed up is this place? I got something going now. A friend. And oh. I, I don't want to mess it up. Well, that's kind of sad. Maybe that's what I was like for you. If you care so much about me playing your stupid revolution game, speak up now. Or I guess... Oh, is she going to see Silco? You're, you're really gone. Jeez, jeez. Okay. So, interesting that we're already kind of... I don't want to say we're seeing a redemption of Caitlyn, but basically time has passed from, you know, episode three to four. They did that in the first season, too. And Caitlyn is already, I think, kind of not feeling it right like she's not feeling all the violence that's been happening since all of this has begun and i think she is starting to regret maybe i'm just maybe i'm just talking out of my ass but i hope we get a glimpse of like at least like jace echo and heimerdinger and where they've gone wow savika looking up to bander There's something hidden at Vander's statue. Blood spilt on all sides. Oh, Savika's rallying the we grew troops. Up on the same streets. Ate the same scraps. Noxians down our throats. Mm. Innocents getting carted off to Stillwater. Singed? We got to Hello, Singed. Right now, not as firelights for jinxers. Or jinxers. Oh, it's just going to be Isha. Yeah, it's just Isha. 
That'll do, though. Um, okay. Uh-oh. Noxian showed up. Singe being there is interesting. Is Singe going to end up doing something? All right, Isha, what are you going to do? Oh, that's that's crazy, dude. Oh, my Isha, what? Rictus didn't even... Dude. Oh, yeah. Singe is about to do something. Uh-oh. Oh, <gasps> Oh, the blood on his hand. He He's testing his... He's testing out Warwick. Isn't he? Oh, dude. I'm so excited. Please. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is cool. Oh, come on. I didn't know we were going to get him this episode. They got her. Oh jeez, look at Savika. Topside raided the place. Took Uh-oh. Jinx is going to go crazy. Oh no, it's coming back. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, we knew this was going to come out again. I think Isha was the one keeping her kind of sane. She not little one. <sighs> I'll tell you a secret. We won't be staying long. Oh, that's crazy. All right, Singed, you're getting me too hyped, man. <laughs> Ooh, this is an interesting visual. Whoa. <laughs> what is he doing? He's bored. I get it. Half-eaten circus tent. I am Jinx. <laughs> oh, oh God. Ew. <laughs> that was fun. Hey, mama. Don't you take her in. This guy again. I gave her a choice between this and a swim in the harbor. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ambassa? <gasps> uh-oh, Ambassa sees the blue hair. Oh, Jinx wants to go for the kill. That slow mo was tense, man. I think Ambessa noticed, though. Nice. There, what's Ambessa doing here? Is Ambessa going to see Warwick? Oh, yes, yeah, so Ambassa did notice. She's like, wait a minute. Here I am, you're a big fat hero. <laughs> yeah, Jinx isn't used to this. People f willing to fight for her. Even a firelight. Okay, Ambessa, are you going to... Yup, okay. She suspects something. Oh, is Warwick on that? Oh, please. Oh, she putting the freaking armor on, dude. She knows something's up. Man, I love Ambessa's character. Oh, what a cool stance. Oh, man. Look at that. <gasps> no. There we go. Your 
late for Stink Ma's great comeuppance. Mm -mm -mm. That's nice, but Isha, you gotta stop doing dumb stuff. Oh, here we go. Warwick's about to show up. Yeah, you guys should probably just get going. Oh. He's so fast. Oh, seeing the claws first is crazy. Oh my god, the music! Okay, Jinx is going to try to fight it. He absorbed it? He absorbed it. He absorbed it. Ooh. Oh, my God. Dude, the music choice is perfect. You really are a big, fat hero. It slows him down a little bit, but I think he's just absorbing it. <gasps> Dude, this is so cool. Oh my god, the music. I didn't think we were going to get a Jinx Warwick fight. This is so hype. Oh my god. Jinx, you just gotta go. Oh, are we gonna get the moment where you Vander realizes it that it's powder? Just remember, you're no stink maw. Oh. Oh. Oh, he recognizes the little grenade. Yes! We are getting that moment, like in Warwick's lore. Oh, yes! Oh, the eyes changed. <gasps> he talked?! Oh my god, I didn't know that would happen! All right, guys, this one doesn't have like a little after credit singe thing, which I guess makes sense. Wow. All right, guys, we got to talk about that episode. I, I I was so hyped for Warwick this whole episode. Of course, I didn't know any idea. I had no idea we were going to get Warwick that episode and a fight between Jinx and Warwick. That was all I could ask for. That was so cool. And exactly. So with Warwick's lore, right, there was the idea of him you know, seeing a, a daughter and like not attacking them because we were all like, oh, it's got to be Vander. It's got to be Vander. I will say Warwick does look a little like this version of Warwick, like Vander Warwick does look different than, you know, the League of Legends version. I don't know if they're going to make him look a little bit more like the League of Legends version later on through like maybe later through the season or something. Maybe he'll just like transform a little bit more and become less Vander. I don't know what they're going to do with that. That was an incredible episode. I loved it, of course. I always forget though, whenever they do these batches of episodes like they did it in season one but i i just i didn't even think it was going to happen but they had like a little bit of a time jump there right so we we've been going on with this like you know the the piltover versus zon thing for a little while now and clearly zon needs to like rise up and and band together and it seems like that that's what they were trying to do at the beginning of this episode or during the middle of this episode and they truly don't have like a leader down and zon so they just need like a symbol or a leader like jinx and Savika down and on. So there, we're definitely building that story up down there. Isha is becoming a bit of a problem, guys. I'm worried. I don't know, like, okay, so now we have Jinx kind of relying on Isha and Isha relying on Jinx. And like, if they get torn apart from one another, it seems kind of like they're gonna do, they're both either gonna do some crazy things if they're torn apart from each other. And then like that that bond there, I'm, I'm just worried about it. I, I, I don't know what's gonna come with that bond uh, later on in this season. It'll be kind of interesting. Man, Savika already lost her arm. What are we, what are we gonna do, Savika? Can we get you another arm again? Um, I feel bad for Savika in that case. Hopefully, she ends up getting another arm. All right, Ambessa. I'm really liking Ambessa's character, man. Like she has become. Obviously, she's the villain, but she has become such a good villain in the absence of our great villain of Silco in season one. Silco. 
If you didn't like him, you have to kind of agree he was written very well. He was a very good villain. But I like that we're getting that in season two now with Ambessa. And Ambessa, her story is honestly building on me. And I think it's going to be even greater as it goes on. And I think, like, I don't know, man. She's just a badass. That's all. <laughs> Ambessa is such a badass. We obviously didn't see her there, but I'm sure she made it out. Um, we're not going to have Ambessa randomly die to Warwick. And then Singe. Singe making more of uh, an appearance this episode than just being in it for a tiny, tiny bit. You know, we, we got to see him truly testing out Warwick here with Singe bleeding a little bit, basically being like a father to Warwick and Warwick knowing to come follow that. We'll have to see what happens when Singe and Warwick actually like actually meet up outside of his lab and see what happens between the two. Because I know in the lore, Singe kind of actually gets like beat up by Warwick initially. And then Warwick runs off and does his own thing. Um, I'm sure they're going to still end up doing something like that or something similar. So we'll have to see. Uh, we didn't get any Vi and we also didn't get any Jace, Echo, or Heimerdinger this episode. So I'm assuming that's going to be the next ones. All right, guys, I appreciate you being here. I, I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me on these arcane stuff and all my League of Legends reactions. If you want to check out my other League of Legends reactions, subscribe to the channel. Check out that other stuff. Leave a thumbs up on this video so other people can see it. I'll see you guys in the next episodes. We're going to have those up as soon as possible. I will do my best to get episodes five and six going. All right, guys, take care. Bye.